And last but not least, bro, it's talked about a little bit, man, but I have to make sure to like highlight it here on this show because everybody may not talk about it. And that's why you want to come to this show uh, and listen to this show because I'm going to make it a point to talk about things that aren't talked about but need to be talked about. Um, I got to give a shout out to Peyton Pritchard, bro. Peyton Pritchard uh, didn't play a lot in this series. Uh, the most minutes he played was 22 minutes. Um, and it was some games where, like, he didn't play hardly at all, uh, if at all, right? And so for Peyton Pritchard, uh, in game two, end of the third quarter, he hits a half court shot, right? Game five, end of the end of the first half, he hits another half court shot. And you hear you hear NBA players talk about like finishing quarter strong, whether that's you trying to get a good shot um for your team to like have some momentum going into the, you know, going into the next quarter or the next half, or simply trying to, you know, make a shot to kill the momentum of the other team who, you know, may be on a run themselves. And Peyton Pritchard, with those two half-court shots, I think, apart from the shots, I just think it speaks to Peyton Pritchard's mentality to stay locked in at all times. Yeah, I'm coming off the bench. Yes, the NBA Finals. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of minutes. Could have came on the court, bullshit, not really caring, you know what I'm saying? Like, not fully invested because he's not getting, like, buku minutes. But he comes at, he comes in these games with these half-court shots, looking to make an impact with the smallest amount of time that he's been given, right? And I think – and when I see that, I, I, I don't think it just speaks to basketball and him scoring points, but I think it speaks to life just in terms of – you maximizing on whatever opportunity you are given, right? And so even in that game five where he hits the half-court shot, Peyton Pritchard only played one minute. He only played one minute that game. And if you're not locked in, you could be pissed off, mad, frustrated, and you're feeling, I don't know if a coach Mazzula don't want to play me, you know what I mean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. But no, nah, a minute is what you're going to give me? All right, shit, let me see what I can do in a minute. And uh, again, man, salute to uh, Peyton Pritchard for just like maximizing like on the opportunities that he was given. Those have court shots, bro. You can't, you can't quantify like the impact that those shots had. You may look at his stats and go, like, okay, he hit one three, but no, 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 no. Don't reduce him down to him just making one or two threes, you know, um, and not playing a lot of minutes. Like, you can't measure the impact that those threes had in this series when you're trying to close out a quarter or you're trying to close out a half, and then you also trying to close out a quarter to go on a full quarter. The life, the electricity that he put into uh, the TD Garden with those shots – unmeasurable and should not in any way, shape, or form be uh, be forgotten or not valued. So, so to you, Peyton Pritchard, bro, for just making the most of your opportunity, dog.